Hello everyone, this video I'm going to be replacing the screen on a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and as you can see the screen on this one is pretty cracked and also the back is cracked so I'm actually going to be replacing both the screen and the uh, back cover um, this video is going to help uh, be as a tutorial to help you guys uh, take apart your S6 Edge and replace uh, any of the parts inside the phone. Um, Alright, so let's get started. Uh, first thing we're going to need is to remove the SIM card tray, which is at the top. Okay, so let's take that out. Alright, once you have it out, what we're going to need is a hair dryer or heat gun to give it some heat on the back or on the back corners. And we're going to need a suction cup to lift it up a little bit. And we're going to be lifting it up from the bottom of the phone towards the top. All right, so I was able to get it under there. Once you get it under there, you're pretty, it's a lot easier. You're pretty much set to go because then you can just stick some other stuff in there and just pry around it, pry around the back glass. All right, well, my back glass is already cracked, so I will have no worries in just removing this one off. Alright, so when you are prying up, you do want to be careful with the top section. Don't, don't stick any prying tools up here because of these antennas and this flex cable here. I guess for the um, wireless charging battery. So just make sure that when you're prying up, don't pry up uh, on the top of the phones. You can start prying on the bottom and work your way up. Alright, so let's get that out of the way. Once you have the back cover off, what you're going to need is a small Phillips head screwdriver so that we can remove um, the screws holding on the back cover. Okay, so I have to remove the screws. One, two, three. What's up, bro? <laughs> 
Operation here. Yeah. Yeah, Don't get this thing. Wait. Right. You can help me. You don't have to, but you can help me. You want to change the AC? It's $2,400. <laughs> Maybe I. But you want me to pay half. It's $1,200. If I, if I said yes, then maybe we can have the brand new AC. Then we can have this AC. You still open, but then you can help me if you want to. You know what I mean? Well, we can yeah. have to go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have freaking air. All we have to do, right here, I'll tell you, is we have to put the... Uh, all right, so once you have all the screws removed, now we got to take the uh, back frame off the phone. And we're going to do that simply by just pulling up on the frame, around the frame. Just going to lift up, and the back frame comes right out. Put that to the side. Alright, so this is pretty much the inside of the phone. Here you can go ahead and replace any parts that you may want to uh, replace. If you need to replace the charging port, it's down here. All you got to do is um, remove this screw and disconnect the cable from down here. Remove the charging port. Here is the LCD cable, this is the connector, and here are other cables, this one's for the front speaker, this one is for the front camera, and this one should be for the SIM card reader, okay? But what we're going to be replacing here is the uh, front screen, the LCD screen. So let's go ahead and um, start removing it. Alright, so to remove the LCD screen, um, we're going to want to heat it up a little bit. And then once it has some heat, it's hot, we're going to pry up around here to get the screen off. Okay, so you're going to want to disconnect the home button before uh, removing everything off from the bottom. 
because if you don't remove the home button uh, it could get stuck here and break all right so let's remove the bottom piece carefully all right looks like the menu button and the back button are already glued onto there unlike the s5 all right so that came off pretty easy and then now we're just going to finish uh, removing this all right uh now all we got to do is clean up the rest of the back of the lcd that is um that has like a glue on it stuck on the back just remove it all All right, so once the old LCD is completely removed, um, just clean up and we'll be ready to put in the new LCD. All right, so before we uh, put the new LCD on, let's make sure that uh, all right, before we put the new LCD on, um, let's make sure that uh, the whole frame of the phone with LCD is going to sit on, that it's clean, that there's no glass left or any big pieces uh, in the way that might break the new LCD. So just go around the phone and make sure that there is no... Uh, rough objects here okay so everything does look good so now let's just put let's put the new LCD on all right so here's the new LCD let's remove all the uh, stickers that it has on it All right, so once everything is clear on the phone, let's put the new LCD on. All you need to do is stick the LCD cable through this slot right here. All right, and then just position the LCD on top of Position the LCD on top of the frame. Okay. All right, so once you see that the LCD is on there, let's connect the uh, LCD cable here and any cable you might have disconnected. So let's connect the LCD cable back on. All right. And before we put the let's put the back cover back on 
Make sure everything's connected. Let's place this back on. All right. So once you see that, uh, once you have the back cover back on, before we put all the screws back on, um, let's turn the phone on and test it. All right. So it says it's charging at two percent. So let's turn it on again. All right, so yeah, it looks like it's working fine. The battery is low, so the phone turned off. And it's rebooting. All right, but the screen does look like it's working fine, so let's go ahead and finish putting it together. All right, so that's how we replaced the LCD and the uh, back glass on the Samsung Galaxy S6. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks. Bye-bye.